Hey and welcome to Adobe Captivate using advanced actions. This uh, tutorial is divided into four different videos. Right now we're on the introduction. We're going to look at a completed project and deconstruct it and to see how it was made and how the advanced actions make things happen inside of it. So let's go take a look at that project in this completed form before we get started on, on actually building it. Now we're looking at the actual project and this is a single slide that has a word game on the slide. Um, this word game was built all on one slide using advanced actions to make it happen. So uh, this game is in progress inside a larger game and uh, so the word smile that you see here is associated with the little red alien right there and we want to test and see if the player um, can remember that you are supposed to smile when you see the red alien. So let's go ch let's go check out and see how that game plays. This checkpoint is a series of three games. See if you can reveal the red alien by pressing the letters in his code. When you reveal him, continue to the next game. Okay, this is a word game where you have these letters in a grid and uh, you're supposed to be able to re reveal the red alien by pressing the appropriate letters. Uh, you've already been told that you were supposed to smile at the red alien. So if you if you click those letters E letters in smile and M see the red alien is revealed and uh, smile is revealed and then you can click to see if that's right and you're told that you are right and a button is made available for you to continue on to the next section well let's say maybe that you didn't get it right and you try to press a V and uh, if you press the V that letter is not in the red code try again and and you can double check and see if you're right and you're told again no you're not right and it offers if you're stuck you can you can click on this little guy here and um, review the materials but this is a really uh, basic kind of click and point word game that is all hinged on advanced actions and so let's look and see uh, how this game was made and uh, what we had to do to get everything to work like this and that will happen in video number two